Hey y'all, welcome, welcome back to Artistic License, my Thursday stream where we do a little bit of whatever I want and this week we're going to be going back into Final Fantasy X. We're going to be playing some more of the Species Conquest. Ah, oh, thank you so much Koneko. I appreciate you so much <laughs> saving my ass, especially last week. Oh my gosh, hopefully we make it more to more than two bosses this week. I hope, I hope, I hope. <laughs> and Koneko in here with the first. So happy to have you here. So glad you're here. Oh my gosh, you guys. Can't wait. Okay. Um, the bosses do get harder at this point. I have hope. I have hope. Maybe we can beat three <laughs> this week. <laughs> Maybe. We'll see. All right. You guys know how we like to start our stream. We like to start our stream with a little personality quiz. I'm going to put it in the chat right here. We have a super fun one today, guys. Okay. Here we go. Boom. What is your fandom age? Okay, what is your fan? Look at like, okay, the background, like, um, what do the hand? There we go. I'm doing it right. Clock doing the hand thing. Amazing. I love it. Okay. Are you a baby fan, a fandom old, somewhere in between? This quiz will let you know. Oh, okay. Okay, we'll read the disclaimer. I was going to stop there, but not anymore. Okay, read more thing. Okay. Show more. Disclaimer, fandom age has no correlation to chronological age. By taking this quiz, you agree to be judged based solely on your vibes. I'm all vibes. I'm all vibes, babe. Okay. The creator of this quiz is not responsible for any emotional distress or identity slash existential crisis prompted by the taking thereof. All results are intended to be funny first and foremost. Please do not proceed with an expectation of super serious answers about who you are. Man, this person knows their audience and how seriously some fandom peeps like to take some shit. Okay, Ju Juju Beast. I already like you. Let's go. Okay, what do you call a short single chapter fic? Drabble, ficlet, one shot, short fic, standalone, something else. Probably a word I know doesn't really apply, but on purpose. So I have actually heard all of these used. On Tumblr, we use Drabble all the time. But um, back in the day, I feel like what me and my friends used more was one shot or standalone. Um, I have heard short, I mean, I've heard all of these. I've heard all of these, but I guess in my mind, I call it a one shot still. I think I preferred that word. All right. How do you refer to a sexually explicit fic? M or M rated, mature or explicit, using various forms of citrus. It probably that one. Let's see. Using other terms, phrases, smut, yada, yada. I don't label my fics with ratings or look at ratings when I search for fic. Oh, troublemaker. I don't read or write sexually explicit fic. Okay. NC-17, this is the normie answer. Uh, lemon, lemon lime scale. Lemon lime scale should come back, okay? I don't know why we stopped using it. Zoomers, learn the citrus scale. Bring it back. Okay. It's awesome. How do you name your ships? Name slash name. Um, name slash, what's the difference? The first name is listed as who tops. Okay, yes, that's true. When you do slash, the first name listed is who tops. Who's listed first doesn't mean anything. Not true. Uh, name, name, deemed caster. Oh, of course they're using Destiel as examples. With portmanteau, I do like the portmanteaus. They're cute. They're cute, okay? I do think they're adorable. So thank you to younger fans creating the portmanteaus. I feel like it started when, like, Normies were like Brangelina, and then fandom was like, ooh, portmanteaus, that's a good idea. Okay, with an in-joke or in-phase originating either in the fandom or with the work itself. Oh, okay, yeah, that makes murder husbands for like, okay, got it. With an acronym, MSR or GSR. OG shit right there. OG shit. I still call Mulder Scully MSR, okay? That's what it is, MSR. Whichever one of them sounds best. I will say my preference is the name slash name with the first one that tops. I think that's the clear. That's the best one. That's what I wish we used more. But I do enjoy portmanteaus and acronyms where appropriate. Cute names I also enjoy. Um, I'm not a fan of like just the Dean Casser. Like that's not. I'm not a fan of that. Oh, hey, Lar. Welcome in. Welcome in. You're a fandom wine uncle. Oh, I love that for you. I'm not part of the car crash, but I'm rubbernecking and judging. Ooh, okay. I love it. Okay. We're going to go name slash name. That's really what my preference is to see a ship named with top slash bottom or whoever is like more top-ish in the ship if, it, if it's not explicit like that. Okay. How many OTBs can a single fan have? I don't know. Probably more than there are genders in the world. That's my answer. Is that one of the answers? Only one. It's literally in the fucking... Oh, fuck you. 
One per fandom, one per character. What is OTP? As many as they want. Rules are made to be broken. Be free. Viva la resistance. That's right. How or where did you first encounter fan fiction? Via fan scenes handed out at conventions or printed slash copied and mailed? I do know of those, but I actually did not experience those until I was post-college and actually started going to conventions. I've come a very small town. We did not have conventions that I could go to. Okay, Usenet, user mailing lists or web forums. I did experience, oh gosh, what was my first? What was the first? I definitely experienced a little bit of this. Um, Yahoo groups, GeoCities pages, absolutely experienced this. Online journaling sites. I read so many fanfic on live journal. Oh my God. Social media sites. I mean, I've experienced that. Fanfiction.net. Fanfiction.net was big. I don't know why that's grouped in with AO3. Fanfiction.net is a, a much older service. Um, but I think my first one was stumbling upon them in like mailing lists or, or forums or something. Like I didn't find fanfiction.net until high school when a friend said that's where they were posting their Gundam wing fix. And so then I experienced, I experienced that. I was reading fix until that point, like in middle school when I was like little on like mailing lists and web forums and like Yahoo groups and stuff. They're asking which fandom drama you experienced and my drama dodging like I'm in the matrix ass here is like, oh yeah, John Locke. <laughs> yeah, John Locke. Oh my God. <laughs> Woo. What is the fandom hill you choose to die on? Okay. Drabbles are 100 words exactly. No. Not true. Crack ship and rare pair are not the same. Stop confusing them. That's true. I don't know why. Do people like use crack ship and rare pair interchangeably? They're not interchangeable. That's true. We should bring back the citrus scale, to be honest. I just fucking said that. I just, oh, it's in my brain. Um, you Moscato Sal's. Oh, they're the rules of the internet. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Mm, don't like, don't read is a big deal for me. I don't understand why Zoomers hate it. I mean, like, intellectually, I do, but in my heart and in my soul, I do not. We need to bring back Squick. We do need to bring back Squick. Oh, can I mark all of them? I do not care about this stuff enough to die on any hills. Oh, no, definitely. Oh, all of them. Thank you. All. Well, all except Drabbles. Honestly, like, I don't care. If you want to write 150 word and call it a Drabble, like, whatever. I don't care. Tumblr got weird for a week. And then it was broken. Crack ship and rare pair are not the same. Sometimes crack ships turn it. Yeah, crack crack ships can be rare pairs, but rare pairs aren't necessarily crack ships. Like a rare pair could be canon or semi-canon or like something that happened for only one episode, but just doesn't have a big fandom. And that makes it a rare pair, right? But a crack ship is something that's like, you you it's never going to happen in fandom. The fandom of that ship typically doesn't want it to happen in fandom or in canon. Um, is what I meant to say. Anyway, the answer is all of them because, like, I feel super strongly about, um, you know, don't like, don't read, bring back Squick. We should absolutely bring back Squick. We need to stop calling things triggers that are not triggers. Like, you're just uncomfortable. You're not triggered. My freaking god. Let's catch this Pokemon. There we go. Um, bring back Citrus Scale. I feel strongly about that. I didn't even know this was a thing, but if somebody was trying to tell me it was, I'd vote for that too. Anyway, next. What is your stance on dark and disturbing material and fan creations? Anyone can read, draw, or write about whatever they want. No caveats, no qualifications, no exceptions. I already know I'm marking that. Let's see what the others say. Anyone can read, draw, or write whatever they want, but they should use tags and warnings to help their readers make decisions if they would like to be polite. Politeness is not required. I will die on that hill. Politeness is kind, not required. Anyone can redraw or write about whatever they want, except for indecent pedophilia, fuck you. Anyone can redraw or write about whatever they want, as long as they make clear that bad stuff is being done wrong, super fuck you. Only people who've experienced trauma and are using it to cope should engage with certain subject matter. Ooh, that just... That, mmm, that makes my stomach hurt. No one should engage with dark and disturbing material under any circumstances. Doing so encourages and empowers predators, condones those actions, or indicates you're a predator yourself. Not exaggerating when I say that's some Nazi shit, okay? What even counts as dark and disturbing? Who decides that? I kind of agree with that answer, too. Who decides? Where's the line? Where's the line, sir? I do not know. I don't know. Um, Omega versus literally Dom such sub switch. Quit it with an accurate naming. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It asks what I consider cringe, and as much as I want to pick cringe is dead, I think I have to choose Omegaverse because it's just Dom Sludge sub switch for furries. <laughs> Koneko, maybe you need to read more Omegaverse. I'm not sure that's true. I mean, I think your take is maybe like 80% true. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I see why you feel that way. I'm not sure I'm 100% on board. Anyway, next question. 
Of these options, what's the first fandom drama scandal significant event you remember experiencing in real time? Arthur Conan Doyle's killing of Sherlock Holmes. If you pick this, I'm biting you. Oh my god. Metanomo's letter in the first issue of Spockanalia. I was not there for that, but I do know what they're talking about. Marion Zimmer Bradley fanfiction copyright controversy. Oh, the whole Miss Scribe situation was absolutely there for that. Um, John Locke, ongoing behemoth that is Desio Gate, SPN Gate. Ugh. Take a drag of my cigarette. You children know nothing of drama. <laughs> Miss Scribe. Miss Scribe, I was there for that. I may say I don't read the naughties unless I'm in a fairy world. Well, Kaneko, maybe I maybe you have not done enough research to solidify this take. Um, that I think <laughs> is what I'm trying to say. Um, but yeah, I see why you feel that way. I just am not sure it applies to to it when you take in the breadth of things that are common in Omegaverse. Um, what's the first thing that comes to mind when you hear the word beta? Beta reader, Greek alphabet, software testing, men, men, I, I don't, I can't pronounce that word. Men, men and I, I don't know what that says. Omegaverse, anyway, beta max, haha, <laughs> beta max. It's beta. Biology nerd coming out, yeah, I mean, I hear you. Um, it does bother me in Omegaverse, like, I skip the parts. It, when If they ever describe, like, the Omega, uh, an Omega male having a baby, like, I, you know, like, please get past this. I'm not interested. <laughs> so I kind of know what you mean a little bit. Okay. What's the cringiest fanfic trope? Self-insert, reader POV, Impreg, Omegaverse, alternate universe. How is alternate universe cringy? What the fuck? Next gen. Didn't you hear cringe is dead? Honestly, like cringe is dead. Like if I have to pick probably the cringiest here is self-insert, but like the older I get, I'm like, just live your best life. Like if you want to be the queen of the Enterprise and bang Spock and Kirk, like, with your self-insert, little Mary Sue, like, go forth. Go forth, my child. You have my blessing. Cringe is dead. Oh, what's your longest-running fandom? Not the first one, but the one you're active in the longest is the Judgment Free Zone. I'm, I'm not typing that, but, like, probably the first fandom I got into was... Um, X Files for MSR, right? But I was in, I've been in the, was in the Supernatural fandom, active in there for the longest time. I was super active in the Vampire Diaries and Originals fandom for the longest fucking time. Um, I, I think as far as like my fandom activity goes, and the Harry Potter, I've, I've been like in and out of the Harry Potter fandom for freaking years. I'm in my twenties. Well, Koneko, I think it's it's vibes, right? Your vibes are fandom elder. I'm gonna see what I get. I want to see if I get. I think I'm gonna get that or the Wine Mom. Let's find out. I got wine, mom. That's kind of what I thought. Okay, I'm going to read what Fandom Elder says. You've been around for a while and you know what's up. You firmly believe in fandom terms have specific meanings. There's a correct way to use them and a failure to do so is half of what's wrong with fandom today. You miss when squick was widely used term and gladly will die on the drabble hill. Basically, you just need all those kids to get off your lawn. It might not kill you to lighten up a little, but then who would teach the young'uns? <laughs> I love that for you, though. I do. <laughs> okay, let's see what my wine mom says. You didn't think you'd actually been in a fandom all that long until you heard some kid call a 3,000 word fic a drabble and you found yourself reaching for a beverage to cope. Maybe you haven't been around as long as the folks who remember fanzines printed via, via mimograph machines, but you do remember lemons fondly. You can't help but poke a little bit of fun at both baby fans and fandom elders, elders also to cope, but secretly you're with the elders when it comes to wanting those damn kids off your lawn. Hang in there, why not? You'll be old for real before you know it. I think the reason I get this because of instead of elder is because like I'm a little bit more chill about it. Like, I kind of, I as much as the kids piss me off in a lot of ways i kind of don't want them off the lawn i want to just teach them right <laughs> so i think that's why i get this instead of the grumpy fandom elder <gasps> you are kind of a fandom hipster kaneko that is absolutely your vibe my friend okay here we go these are the other ones we've got um baby fan derogatory baby fan affectionate a noble chaos gremlin fandom elder and fandom ancient like no one's a fandom ancient i guess um i guess that's someone that's been here for for fucking ever like if somebody that was like an old star trek nerd could take this quiz and answer it they made you get fandom ancient that was a good quiz that was a good quiz <laughs> it was like top so when i went to you quiz today to scope out what we were gonna get i like came here and i was like i just saw this like right here on the top of trending and i was like oh fuck yeah we have to do that we have to do that okay bring back squick and lemon but also please keep the proper tagging 
I hear you. I know what you mean. It's kind of like, you know, for every good idea, there's like six bad ideas as far as when fandom changes. Because <laughs> the tags are useful. You know, if people want to use them, they are useful. <laughs> oh, my word. Okay, you guys. Okay. Let's play some, let's play the game. All right. I gotta get my controller turned back on. We're gonna play some Final Fantasies number 10. There we go. Ooh. I think my microphone picked up that thunder. Oh my word. What in the heck? Wow. Okay. Fandom ideas are not necessarily bad. Fandom attitudes, yeah. It's all ended on attitudes. Yeah, I know what you mean. I'm so tired. I'm so tired of the purity police in fandom. Like, ugh. Kill me. Okay. Resume. Here we go. Let's go! Okay, what does my party look like? Oh, I didn't do spear. Let's do, let's do our little spears from last time. I think I was so tired um, from the battle that I did not progress sphere grid. Okay, is that all? That's all. Oh no, Orin has a sphere. Mm, where are you at, Orin? Right here. Okay. We're gonna unlock that level 3. Okay, now the pathway is open. Yes, let's return to the main menu. Okay, who do I want for tank yet? I know I definitely want Orin, because I want to do his um, Vanishing Blade so we can do a full break. And I know he can only attack one character at a time, so I think our party's going to be Orin Riku Titus. Oh, thank you! Okay, thank you, Koneko. Weapons without piercing auto ability will do little damage, although it may appear slow. Tank it has a couple nasty tricks. Yeah, so he can do, he can inflict Berserk and Delay. If only one party member is alive, Tinket will attack them continuously. Yep, yep, because he has that rush attack ability. I, re I did see that. Okay. Rush attack is used when it's low. Mm -hmm. It's a rank one. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. It will receive more turns. Both Tinket's attacks have 50% chance of targeting the party member with the lowest HP. Okay. All right. Yes, that's all true. The best strategy is take a party member with fully powered celestial weapons before it gets a turn. A weakened Orin with Moss immune is advised for maximum damage, preferably alongside allies of Riku with God Hand and Kamari. Oh, they want me to use Kamari. We can do that. We can use Kamari. Um. Yeah, Walker with World Champion or Titus with Cal the Bog. Both full HP attack. It's relatively low overkill requirement. Okay, yes, I did see that. Not immune to mental break. Yes, okay, that's where I'm gonna do the Banishing Blade. Because of the rush attack, it's inadvisable to use Aeons. Yes, I saw that. So Yuna's is kind of useless for this. Her, we can't, we can't use um, Mother-in-law to uh, to kick ass. So I think I'm actually gonna do this then. We're gonna do Arn Riku Waka, because Waka has really nice HP. Okay. All right, ladies, stay in formation. <clears throat> let's go. Let's go. Species conquest. Okay, we're on to the next page. Tank it. Let's go. All right. He's beautiful, actually. Like, look at that diamond shit. Isn't that lovely? I really love it. Okay. I guess we'll just do a regular attack. We're gonna do... Um... Let's not waste a steal. Let's not waste a steal. Go! Yes, we go! Okay. Yeah, he's beautiful, isn't he? Like, really gorgeous. Okay, Riku doesn't do no, no shit. She doesn't do shit. Yeah. Waka does. Okay, Waka does. Uh, okay, go with your arm. I think we're- let's see how much Titus does. He's gorgeous. Okay, Titus is a little bit better. Okay. Um, let's do Titus's overdrive, and then maybe we'll switch out for Kamari. I have a feeling that Kamari's gonna do the best damage. Oh my god. I, there we go. There we go. Yeah, tank it shine bright like a diamond. For real. She's beautiful. I feel like my desktop audio is kind of loud. I'm gonna turn that down a little bit. 
bitch. Let me turn my microphone up a little bit. Okay. Let's see. Is that louder? Am I making it louder? I'm making it quieter. Hello. Okay. I think this is this is okay. Um, tell me if the levels sound bad. Boom. Um, let's do Kimari. Come here, Kimari. <laughs> okay, Kimari does do the best. Okay. There we go. This is good. Okay, we can Banishing Blade now. It does sound a little quiet. Okay. Me. Testing, 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 testing. Okay, this is making it louder. Oh, that actually that actually looks way better. That looks way better. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Koneko. All right, banishing blade time. Let's go. Then we can do some big damage. Great. All right, tank it. Broken. The bitch broke. Boom. We're gonna attack reels that shit. We're gonna attack reels that shit so hard. Can y'all hear that thunder over the microphone? It's so loud. <laughs> Koneko, how much Vaporeon do you think is going to happen in this fight? Do you want to give a guess? <gasps> I feel like it's going to be a lot, because he like one hit killing, you know what I'm saying? You can? I thought you could, it's so loud! Is there any point in doing this? I guess I can Mighty Guard. Yeah, I mean that can't hurt. Boom. Um, why don't you cure heal Arn up? Aw, oh, bitch. That was rude of you, Tankette. Oh, I should have. Let's overdrive. Vanishing Blade. I need to pay attention to how much damage it does. Make sure it's worth it, now that he's broken. Let's see what happens. <clears throat> 26k? Okay, 26k for a Banishing Blade. Oh! Damn it! That was bad attack reels will be double digits. So far we have three. Okay. Uh, I do think we're gonna get ten or more. <laughs> I do think that. <sighs> okay. Um... Six thousand. Okay. Waka does crazy damage. Yeah, there's a stupid rush attack. Dumb. Thank God we have Auto Phoenix. He keep doing it. He keep doing it. He needs to quit. At least he can only kill one at once, so that's cool. I realized I have my shell armor on still. That was probably a bad idea. I probably should have put my other armor on first, or at least checked, before I started this battle. That was kind of dumb of me. <laughs> I could have Protect on and he wouldn't be doing quite so much damage to me. I don't know if he'd still end up killing me in one hit. Like, it might. He might. Yeah, something like that. It's been a lot. Because he keeps using the rush attack. And every time he does that, he's going to get another turn, like, really quickly. Okay, here we go, Banishing Blade again. <clears throat> yeah. Already double digits. <sighs> Ooh. 
So that does good damage. His Vanishing Blade does real good damage. It's okay, I got lots of Phoenix Downs. This should be okay still, even though I put on the wrong armor. But he seems to be not interested in doing anything else. And so when I do the Mighty Guard, then that puts Protect on, on them, and they still die. So it actually, it wouldn't have made a huge difference. There we go. Good attack reels that time. Get him, Waka. Big damage, big damage. Heck yeah. But I think that's basically what this fight is going to be. We just keep attacking. Because <laughs> he can only kill one at a time. So... Yeah. It's going to keep being like this. <laughs> yeah, he does 20k damage. My god. What a little bitch. He's like one trick pony, he can't do nothing else. Yeah, he doesn't have as much health as the Jumbo Flan or the Nega Elemental last time. So, um, we should kill him without it taking so freaking long. Boom. And it's kind of nice attacking after so much magic last stream. We had so much magic last stream, and now we get to actually use our weapons. So, you know, that's a little bit nice. Oh, overdrive time. Let's do it. Vanishing Blade, go! There we go. He just moves so fast for a rock man. He's speedy. He's real speedy. Especially compared to other similar beans like him. He's special like that. But bless Auto Phoenix. So it actually seems like with this guy, there isn't really a huge amount of strategy if you have Auto Phoenix. And we even got an overkill. Twenty-five. Twenty-five was our final total. That's less than I thought it would be. Honestly, that- oh, and we got two Dark Matters! We got two Dark Matters, nice! Okay, before I forget... <laughs> 25 Vaporeons, you're probably close. I mean, that's probably right. Okay, um, before we forget, we are gonna equip our correct armor this time. We're gonna put back on our Protect Armors. Yes. Protect. All right, there we go. When you asked if I say closer to my age than single digits, and I'm mid twenties, ah! We did literally Koneko's age in Vaporeons. Ah, that's too funny. Okay, let's save. We need to create a new save file for today. Yes. All right, we got one little sphere. One little sphere for Kimari. Um, are we taking him up towards Orans or down towards Titus's? I think we're gonna let's make him strong. Let's go this way. There we go. I don't remember if that was what I intended to do with him, but that's what we're doing at this time. Okay, next is Fafnir. Um, we're definitely going to need to break him, so we want Orin. I also want to use the Null spell, so I'm going to put Yuna in here. And then I guess we can have Waka for big damage. I think that's going to be good. Okay, let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Help me, Koneko. Help me. 
Also, anyone lurking, if you want to also help, you can. <laughs> Backseating is okay. This is parts of the game that I do not know as well, so... Um, you'll probably tell me something new. Alright, Oren already got his overdrive. Fantastic. We're gonna break him right off the bat. Love it. Amazing. Yes. Absorbs magic. Except water and holy. Okay, good to know. And he casts elementals. Weapons without piercing ability do little damage. They'll use physical attacks with the lowest current HP, followed by triple attacks. Yes. And then elemental attacks. Final attack will not come if two characters are KO'd by the second. Okay. Got it. Um, so I know that he, he also goes in an order. He goes like ice, fire, lightning. So we're gonna um, null frost. And then null fire and then null lightning. Yes. Element Eater armor will make Fafnir less likely to kill the party. Yeah, and if not, use the nulls. Okay. In addition to protect, cheer may be the difference between a character surviving and failing. Oh, good to know. Okay. <clears throat> so we did ice. Now we're going to do null shock. No, null blaze comes next. And then null shock. Well upgraded Aeons, Ifrit or Ixion are best suited since they're one of the three elemental attacks. Oh yeah, and he'll heal them. So you can, yep, yep, and then you can use their their attacks on him. Yep, normally before Yuna summons the Aeon, normally armor break only works 5% of the time, but the frag grenade of Banishing Blade will always work. Okay, good, 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 good. Okay, we're on the right track, you guys, we're on the right track. So we're going to Null Shock. Zap, zap. Attack reels. Here we go. <clears throat> I'm gonna try to get um. I'm gonna try to have get Yuna up um, on her overdrive, and we can summon like Ifrit. We don't use him very often, so it'd be nice to use him. Pray, Yuna. Oh, okay. That really didn't do much. Interesting. Mm, are they topped off? They are. Well, I guess we'll cure herself, even though that doesn't help with her overdrive. <clears throat> I guess because she has the lowest HP, it's going to attack her Fafnir's kind of pretty. You know, now that you say it, he actually kind of is. He actually kind of is. Um, the color scheme where he's like the red and, and yellow, but then he's got like purple in his ears and in his mouth and like a little bit on his back. Um, that's interesting. Okay, so we need to get Nulls back on him. Oh, we need to get Null Fire back on him because he just used Ice. Okay. So we're going to do Null Blaze. Yes. And that triple attack is nasty. The triple attack's nasty. Oh, and he gets another turn. That's no bueno. Has no bueno. Uh... Oh, triple attack again. I was afraid of that. At least Orin will definitely survive. Okay, that was nasty. Dislike. Oh, is he gonna triple attack a fucking gen? This bitch. This bitch. And nobody gets a turn before him. Hmm. Mm hmm hmm. What's I got? It's 
mega potion. Yeah, he bad. He bad dog. Oh, good. He did not. Okay, do the thing again. Amazing. Love it. Um, we can do this. Did y'all hear that thunder? My house is going to get blown away. Bye! See you later! <laughs> okay, we need no frost for sure. Uh, okay, we do have enough time for that. So we'll do... Um, white magic. No blaze. Yeah, it's like super loud. It's been raining like every day for a hot minute. Um, it's been crazy. So this is another rainstorm and they're all like in the evening like this. It's ridiculous. Okay, then we need null shock. All right, so everyone's all protected up. Um Yuna's got very low HP. Oh, he's gonna triple attack! Stupid bitch. Man, that triple attack would be deadly if you don't have some nulls. Alright, so we're gonna white magic. We're gonna null blaze to get that back on Orin. And then, oh good, she gets another turn. Fabulous. Null blaze and null shock. Yep. So then next he's going to do another triple attack. And it's going to be the shock one. Well, maybe Ixion would be better to try to summon. He's got a full overdrive. Maybe we should summon Ixion. Oh, good counter. Okay. Let's release some overdrives. Oh, missed the last one. <clears throat> Cure yourself, Orin. Okay, um, I think we'll do Kiraga on Orin, just get him all the way back up, and then we're gonna summon Ixion. Okay, so Cuddles, right? Yes, Cuddles is Ixion. Come on, Cuddles! Help us out. <sighs> yeah, leap through the portal. Thor's hammer. Been a minute since we've seen Thor's hammer attack. Hey! <gasps> he is Zev Stryka! Ah! He told Zev Stryka. Zev Stryka before Zev Stryka. No, it healed him! His overdrive healed him! Oh shit. I fucked up. I fucked up so hard. I fucked up so hard. I fucked up so hard. <sighs> I shouldn't have used the overdrive. Why y'all let me do that shit? <sighs> I want to start over. We're starting over. Okay, come here, get healed. 
Let's buy more things. Uh, let's buy items. Let's stock back up. We need Phoenix Downs. All of them. Give me all of your Phoenix Downs, sir. Yes. Let's get some... Do we want some potions? I don't know. Mm, we definitely want, though... How much do we have of these things? There's no remedies here. Uh, that's okay. Just Phoenix Downs is fine. I guess we'd have to go back to the airship to get more remedies. Well, I guess it doesn't absorb water, right? But I guess Ixion's, even though it's an overdrive, it's lightning based, which was dumb. I knew that, but I did not do it right. Okay, anyways, let's try that shit again. Fafnir, me, you, let's go. Okay, once again, starting with Banishing Blade. We were going good, we were going strong there. There we go. Okay, you are broken, sir. And now we get to get our nulls going. We need Null Frost. We need to just attack with Waka. So I guess with summoning, if I'm going to use that, it, it needs to not be one of the elemental summons. That's just going to be how it have to be how it is. It's just going to have to be how it is. All right, cuts our nulls. I guess if everyone's topped off then, and there, so there's no reason to just like get her overdrive up, we should um, just use Holy or Ultima. Can you use Ultima against it? Does it want, me, I'm going back up to your notes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, do, 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 do. All of the, da, da, da. Yes, I know that. Okay. I mean, it's not elemental, so Ultima's non elemental, so it should be fine. Yes, okay. That's the same conclusion I came to looking at your notes, Koneko, so I think we're right. Let's Ultima this shit. At least it won't heal him. I don't think. Well, no, it would. If he's absorbing it, it would heal him. But maybe it'll do nothing. Or maybe it'll hurt. It hurts. That's good. That's what we like to see. God, that loud thunder again. I can hear it um, rattling the dishes in the kitchen. <laughs> insane. It's insane. Y'all, people who think, like, climate change isn't real and this shit is, like, normal and been done, been here all this time... This horrible of a thunderstorm, constant, every single um, day for like a week, like that's not normal. That shit didn't used to happen. <laughs> it's what we like to see. We like the hurt. We like the hurt. <laughs> we do like the hurt. Oh, attack reels time. Let's go. There we go. I did it. I did it. <clears throat> okay, so instead of trying to get Yuna's overdrive up, I'm gonna Ultima if I don't have anything else to do on her turn that I need to do. Alright, so he iced us. Um, he gets to go again before Yuna gets to go. That's so rude. Oh, that's so freaking rude. Mm. Is there anything Orin can do about that? No. There's not. Whatever. At least Yuna's gonna survive. Some idiots beeping their car super loud. What are they even beeping at? Keys. <gasps> It's so late for you, too. Like, it's, like, night-night time for you. I don't know why the heck someone would be beeping. Oh, only Yuna gets to survive again. Thank God we got null spells. 
All right, let's null up again. Uh, let's see, we start with the null frost. Yeah, it's 1 a.m. Who's beeping at 1 a.m.? Losers, stop it. Uh, we're gonna null frost, null blaze. Nice counter, love it. Uh, null shock, that's what we need. Okay. Oren, get your MP back, or HP back. Oh, Banishing Blade, again. Okay, since Ultima is fine to use against him, I would assume that we can make use of our mother-in-law for this. So let's bring out um, Miss Giggles. <clears throat> oh, this is nothing compared to the other fun things I've heard at 1am. The funniest was probably some drunk idiot yelling at a barking dog so loud that I couldn't tell which of them was the dog. <laughs> well, that dog shouldn't have been barking at 1am either. Nor should the guy have been yelling at 1am. My god. Calm down, people. Why aren't you asleep? It's 1am. You should be asleep you should be watching TV with headphones on. Those are appropriate 1 a.m. activities. Also, watching my stream is an appropriate 1 a.m. activity, just to be clear. But um, it, either you live alone or you have headphones on, I hope, at 1 a.m. People's trying to sleep, okay? Sleep is important. <sighs> oh, favorite show, one of my favorite shows in the world their new season okay i don't know what i did but okay i hear you oh wow mother-in-law does a lot of damage thank you good job good job anima we love to see that shit overkill No strategy necessary when you got the mother-in-law on the, on the case. <laughs> Ixion wants to be part of the stream. That's what I hear. My god, Ixion mad that I didn't get to use him properly. Um, yeah. <laughs> Woo! Okay. Anyway. Hey, we already beat two, and it's 718. <laughs> Much better than last week. Okay, we're gonna go, yeah, up this way. Oh, I don't have any fortune spears, of course. Okay, that's fine. Alright. But it's an asshole, okay. Um, he's bomb- no, sleep's pro- oh! Fuck! I don't wanna fight sleep sprout, those funguses are so annoying! I hate fighting those funguses. Weak against fire and no resistances. Okay. Well, that's good to know. Um, I know he has, like, status ailment craziness because he's a fungus, so we definitely want to use Auron. Um, We need to kill him fast. We need to kill him fast. Um, Using fire magic and aeons and overdrives. That's what I think is going to happen. Zero evasion, the auto regan. Yeah, and he's gonna do a gajillion status effects on me. <clears throat> Lulu is slow. I think we need to go with Orin Unawaka again. I think Lulu's too slow, even though she'll do big magic damage on him. Using reflects a handy defense. A strong party member can kill it in one hit, making killing it the fastest way to farm dark matter. Okay. Oren's Moss Immune is recommended since it's relatively easy to obtain and does additional damage the lower Oren's HP is. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I think same party. I think we have same party. We start with Banishing Blade. <sighs> Let me save before this, little bitch. It'll make me feel better. Even though, like, you don't get a game over for losing against these guys, I don't care. Make me feel better. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Sleep Sprout. Barf. 
And he's pretty, too. My god. How many turns do I get? I need to get a lot of turns before we get to him. Okay, let's just attack and get his drive up. Damn. Good night does not work. Okay, let's start this over. Okay. We can't just get Orin's overdrive up, because even if we banishing blade it, it's that's still considered physical, I think. So I think he would still counter with that shit. It's not magic. Hmm. Let's try this. Let's just go, I don't know, we'll fight like an ogre or something, whatever. Oh, what am I doing? Oh, overkill, so it's fine. I was like, I didn't even heal myself. What's wrong with me? Okay. Exit. Heal the babes. Alright. No, not chat. I already know what you got to say. Okay. Let's go fight another calm land something. We just fight another ogre. It's fine. Just get Orin's thing up. We're gonna have to use Lulu. This is gonna be another one that takes forever. Bap. Bap. Overdrives are not physical. Okay. So if we get his overdrive gauge up... Beforehand... Okay, let's keep doing this. Let's keep doing this and get his overdrive gauge up. There we go. None of the playable characters' overdrives are considered physical or magical. Okay, so they all fall under special. It's the Aeon's overdrives that that's not always the case. <clears throat> Got it. Okay, his overdrive is up. Boop. Ew. <sighs> All right, so we're going to do Lulu. We need to use fire. All right, let's fight. Sleep, Sprout. You bitch. Okay, let's get him broken. Alright. And Yuna does have Ultima. We can use that. <laughs> that's right, Koinako, that's right. We're trying to break him. Like we're writing a story. Mmm. Ooh, that was not good damage. That was not good damage from Ultima. Ooh, I did not like that. Let's see about Fyraga. My god, it is, like, barely doing anything. I guess this is why it has such little HP. Oh, it's gonna copycat Ultima. I guess she can't copycat an Overdrive. This is awful. I did break it. I banishing bladed. I banishing bladed. It's broken. I should have broken. It is still doing that much damage. Mm mm mm. Let's 
Set up reflects, let it hit itself. Okay. We're gonna try. We're gonna try it. Okay, let's try doing this with Reflex. Um, do you have... Do you have the second level? Okay, well, whatever. We're in a second level fire it. See what happens. Still don't do shit. Okay. Um... We don't want an Ultima. Let's do a Holy. What does that do? Shit! Hmm. Only has 98k. Oh, just set up reflex? Okay, let's get, um, let's get Orin's Overdrive back up real quick. We'll do a Quirrell, because they're beautiful. I feel like the Ogre was faster, though. Okay, let's do Ogre. Okay, so what you're saying, Koneko, for the reflex is more about making sure that when he attacks me, it reflects back. But that's not going to change his little status ailment attack, unfortunately, which is the thing that's like the killer. That good night bullshit. It's not bedtime yet, okay? My god, I still got an hour left of stream. Sleep Sprout, it's not bedtime. You can't make me go to bed. You're not my mom. <clears throat> okay. Thank you, Koneko. Okay. Let's try again. I hate these things for a reason, you know what I'm saying? Okay, Vanishing Blade, let's go! Okay. He is once again broken. That bitch gonna good night me, because he got a turn. Wow. Wow. Good night's magic base attack, so I'm not sure why Reflect doesn't bonk it. It didn't, though. Like, Yuna died, and she had Reflect on. It did not bounce it back. Oh, I shouldn't have backtracked. I should have kept going, so I was going to unlock that. I looked at the path wrong. I do need to keep going and go through. Oh, well. That was a waste. Um... Let's see. Let's fight Bomb King. 
Let's fight Bomb King. Let's see if we can beat Bomb King. Okay, who all knows Focus? Let's see. Alright, Lulu and Riku. And that's it. Yes. Alright. So we definitely want Lulu and Riku. Um, and we definitely want Yuna for Null Blaze. So let's try this party for Bomb King. Bomb King absorbs fire. Okay. Heard. No fire. We don't want to use fire. He likes the fire. He likes it hot. Okay. So we won't do that. All right, Bomb King. See if we can have a little bit more success with him. No blaze. Ooh, we have a mix. We could do a good mix on him. What's a strong mix? Counterattacks do not cause Bomb King to grow. Oh, good to know. Good to know. Um, I want to do uh, something that does a lot of damage. Um, we could do a Sunburst, I think. Um... We can do a sunburst with... I think we have stuff for that. You can use Underdog Secret. Do we have any of that? Yes, we have lots of Underdog Secrets. This might be an easy one. Bit of an endurance battle, though, because he seems to take forever. Okay, got it. Yeah, and I know, like, the more you physically attack him, the more he grows, and eventually he'll, be, he'll like, Ultima you over and over. But if you magic him, that's not necessarily the case. I think. No, it's just regular attacks. Attacking three times makes him grow. I guess that's physical and... Um, and magic, and you have to survive the ultimas. Maybe what we should do... Is hold for now... Don't attack him until we get five times focus up. Let's go under special. So that's focus number one. And can she copycat? She cannot copycat. Okay, we're just gonna wait. All right, this is focus number two. This is focus number three. Focus number four. And focus number five. Okay, now let's try to destroy him. <clears throat> well, that didn't do a lot of damage at all. Um, let's also shell up. for his magic attacks later. Hmm. You don't have any cures. Okay. That's okay. We got X potions. This might be an easy... Oh, it has high magic defense, also high regular defense. Yeah, it has high all kind of defense, right? <laughs> Uh, let's see what she's got. She's got Holy. Let's see what Holy does. 
Probably Riku doesn't have very good magic, so Holy's probably not going to do much from her. Now he's going to grow. Yep. And he does worse attacks as he grows. Yep, good job on the Null Blaze. Um, let's do a summon. Cuddles really wanted to play last time and uh, didn't get to. So let's utilize our summons this battle. Because I think you're right, Koneko. He just has like very, very high defense. So maybe if we can get some Aeons doing some stuff, it'll be better. Not Ifrit, though, since he likes fire. But since it's a bomb, I wonder if I do... Um... Blizzaga. Oh, does he have double? Do I have double cast? I have double cast on my Aeons, that's right. Let's double cast some Blizzaga and see what happens. Yeah, it's like it just barely does anything. Doesn't seem to matter if it's like Ultima or whatever, like the ship barely does anything. Yeah, and he growing again. So now he's gonna Ultima all the time. Well at least if it's double cast. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. At least if it's double cast, it's probably still more damage than using like Arrow Spark or whatever. So why don't we like double cast Ultima? Oh, but he don't have enough. <laughs> he don't have enough MP for that. So just kidding. Um, what happened? Oh, I had to press it again. We'll double cast Blizzaka. <clears throat> go Ixion, go. You can do it, Mr. Cuddles. How much HP does Bomb King have? Hopefully it's not much with his high freaking defense. <clears throat> I, th I think he might grow one more time, but I'm not sure. Can she copycat the Aeon? Oh no, she's gonna copycat Null Place. I guess she can't. Not the worst, but yeah, that's not great for how much damage I'm doing at all. Um, <laughs> okay, let's see how much Lulu's Blizzaga does on him. It's like the same. It's like the same as her ult. Like, it's really no different. He has such high defense that it really makes no difference. Yeah, and now he's going to Ultima all the time. <laughs> yeah. Dang. Okay. Good god, that sucked. Does her holy do any more? Yeah, her holy does a bit more. But not by much. <clears throat> Can we survive the Ultima? With our five times focus. Yes, we can. Okay, amazing. I'm here for that. All right, let's we'll double cast Ultima.
good lord, it's just literally like, you just chip away. You just chip away at this guy. That's how it goes. Mm, okay. Uh, let's see. We'll do holy. Alright, this is another one that's going to take a while. So, I think I'm going to play you guys a song. <coughs> this is a song that I was sent today. It's amazing. You're going to love it. I hope you're ready. I hope you're ready for the most amazing thing ever. I'm going to turn the game sound down a little bit. I'm so sorry to the VOD. You're just hearing quieter game sound. Um, you don't get to hear the sound, I'm, the song, I'm sorry, but you gotta come live to hear the music. Copyright issues. Here we go. Y'all don't know what's coming. You might think you do, y'all don't know. Just vibing. Just vibing. Why does it work so well? Why? Who listened and knew? Oh my god, my cursor is on the screen. What? When they combine. It's the song, it's because they're playing it through YouTube. <sighs> That's why it sounds a little staticky at the end. I don't know why the recording sounds like that. Maybe they added that on purpose. I don't know. Let's turn the game back up. There we go. All right. Let's see how if we can cheese it at all with the Delta attack. Let's see how Bomb King likes that shit. No, I don't think so. 
I'm not seeing anything in my stats. No, the sound, the song sounds a little staticky at the end for some reason. I don't know. Maybe that's in the Kanye part of the song, like it gets staticky and so they added that in. I'm not really sure. Okay, well that did something. That did something. Definitely more damage than I've been doing. Can these guys survive an Ultima? Let's find out. Yes, okay. They can. Let's see if they can survive too. Looks like maybe Kay cannot, but maybe the others? Yeah, okay. Alright, you guys. Oh, that's nice if you revive your friend. Oh, but this is probably gonna get him. <clears throat> Boop. This a little sting. Boop. Goodbye. Goodbye, guys. <clears throat> you were very helpful. Thank you, Magus sisters. I appreciate it. Alright, let's get an X potion on Yuna. Is everyone's HP up? Yes, everyone's HP is max. Well, Riku's needs a little bit, but that's okay. We'll cure her. Um, actually, let's do it like this. Yeah. There you go. You just need a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay. Now that we're back up, we've got our null blaze. Okay. Let's holy. Yeah, this one definitely feels endurance testy. Kind of like the two that we fought last week. Oh, I was telling y'all about one of my shows coming back. Oh, it's okay. So, uh, one of my favorite shows, What We Do in the Shadows, new season just started. There's two episodes on Hulu. We watched them last night. Oh my god. So funny. I laughed multiple times. Um, if you like What We Do in the Shadows, this season um, has been really, really good. Uh, it started really, really good. So, um, I encourage you to watch it, because we watched it last night and thoroughly enjoyed ourselves. It was super fun. And I, I like baby Colin Robinson. I was really creeped out at the ending of last season, but um, but I'm really enjoying myself, this one. Oh, we want to use Holy. There we go. Zap, zap. <clears throat> God, that ultima is so annoying. Okay, time to get healed back up. But I want, I think I want Yuna to do it so that she gets her gauge up. So we can use another Aeon. We can use like Anima or something. It would be beneficial, I think. How many turns does she get? She only gets two. Okay. Um, we're gonna have to. We're gonna. We are gonna have to use a potion from Riku then. You can tell how Yuna, good Yuna's magic defense is, though. She still has 2k HP after that Ultima. And I know they're five-time focused and shelled and stuff, but still. No, it's pretty amazing. <clears throat> okay. You're gonna Kiraga, Riku... And then Riku is going to use an X potion on you. And then Kiraga on Lulu. 
There we go. Now everybody's happy and healed. But he's gonna Ultima again. Cause this guy's a bitch. Also, I don't know if y'all know, but it's my birthday next week. It's my birthday next week. Um. So yeah. I don't really have anything planned because we've been so busy with moving stuff. I just haven't really wanted to plan anything. But it is actually next week on Friday, I think. Yeah, it's next week on Friday. Okay, let's do a Blizzaga Fury. At least I can get seven of those. Oh, I got to eight. That's unusual. Thanks, Koneko. I appreciate it. Woo! That's right. Okay. Um, Yuna, Kiraga on Riku. Riku, you can do an X potion on Yuna. <clears throat> Good lord. Okay, let's heal everybody up first. Lulu's goes so low, it's dangerous. I want to use Yuna's Overdrive, so we're just going to go ahead and heal. Oh, you need a... You need an Ether, Riku. Okay, they're healed. <clears throat> so when Yuna's turn comes around, we're going to Grand Summon Anima. And see what we can do there. Right now it's too warm for Blanky, but also cool, too cold to not have Blanky. And I'm here like, oh my god, Koneko, that's me like every night. Because it's the summer, so it's hot. But we run the AC, so it's also not hot. But then I get under the blanket and I get like super overheated. Um, Yeah, that's me. That's me in the evenings, like all the time in the summer. I want the blankie, but the blankie is uncomfortable. Alright, come on, Giggles. Help us out. I never get tired of watching the animations for Anima. I just think it's like the coolest character, coolest concept. Like, she's the best. Did I do that? Did I do the? Okay, yes, I did the overdrive. Best overdrive, like just, Anima's cool as shit. Amazing, love her. It's not even that hot here, it's just it feels warm because there's so much moisture in the air. Yeah. Well, it's been raining all the time here too, so like, the temperature, like the heat just stays. Sounds like it's like that too, um, too there when it's humid. Panama's super heckin' awesome. It's okay. I knew who you meant. And that still didn't kill it. The heck? How does Anima do versus Ultima? Oof. Not gonna survive the next one, I don't think. Anime is heckin' awesome. I mean, some anime is heckin' awesome. Haha! <laughs> Anime in general? I don't know. Kind of depends. I feel like they pump out so much anime nowadays, there's a lot of it that's not awesome. 
but overall I think I do still like anime. Okay, he's still not dead, somehow, some way. I can't believe it. He's got to be close. He's a super survivor. I can't, I can't believe it. I'm just Googling it again. I just feel like he's got to be close. Oh, why did I cure a Yuna? That's not going to do anything to her gauge. <clears throat> Did that a little bit wrong. Oh well. All right, we're gonna do it right this time so Luna's Luna, Yuna's gauge goes up, and we can do another Aeon. Uh, let's see. Yes. With me doing like. I guess maybe we are not close to killing him. So if I think about it, I'm doing a few thousand per turn. He is 480,000. That's like 400 turns. Or like maybe 200 turns to kill him. Ugh. We'll get her gauge back up. We'll do another Aeon. Oh, perfect. Already one here. Fabulous. So let's Grand Summon. Let's see. We've got Floofy, Kisses, Snuggles, Lucky. Let's do Floofy. We actually don't use Bahamut very much. Funny enough. He's a good summon. What you want, lady? Yeah? You got little meows? She's meowing, but very quietly, so you probably cannot hear it. Alright, Bahama. It's been a second since we've seen you. Let's Mega Flare. We've used multiple Aeons on this guy. Ah.
Ooh. I like that damage. That was nice. That was nice. Oh, he does. Bahama has a really awesome design. Like, those wings are so cool. Like, this is probably one of my favorite Bahamut designs as well. Like, I know, like, the Shiva, Final Fantasy X Shiva is probably one of my favorite Shiva designs. And this is probably one of my, Final Fantasy X Bahamut is probably one of my favorite Bahamut designs. Like, it's just awesome. And the, the spinny circle thing that floats on his back is just so cool. It's really good design. Okay, we're back to this. I would have thought seeing ADK pop up from Bahamut, like, that would have killed him, but I guess not. Too bad these bosses are immune to scans. Because I would scan him to see how much is left. <laughs> but uh, they're all, like, immune. Too bad my Ultima doesn't hurt you as much as your Ultima hurts me. It's very rude of you. Remember, don't cure Yuna herself, because that's not going to make her thing go up. You want to make her thing go up. Oh, I'm out of X potions. I have to get some more of those. Oh, we can mix. Okay. Let's do some underdog secret. Sunburst. Okay. See if we can get eight again. Nope. Didn't even get seven. I tried very diff very hard, but Whew. That hurts your hand. That rotating. I don't have other good items to heal. Let's see. Use restores the HP of party. I guess we can use a healing water. I mean, Yuna's gauge is up, so that's fine. <clears throat> okay. Let's get kisses this time. We can use anybody except for Ifrit. Maybe the ice attacks will be helpful. I don't think so, though. I think he's not weak to ice. He just absorbs fire. <clears throat> I 
diamond dust. I wonder if we'll get through all of our Aeons. <laughs> wonder if we'll use all of our Aeons and he still won't be dead. <laughs> that would suck. Oh, he frozen. <gasps> what? <laughs> Finally! Shiva brought it home. Good. Love it. Okay. Beat him. That took forever. Not as long as the ones last week, though. Okay. Let's do our sphere grid from that. That was definitely an endurance test. Because I didn't have any problem once I got the five times focus, like, surviving the, um... Ultimas and stuff, but my god, that took forever. Okay, let's see. Let's see about. Jo I don't think we have enough time to beat another one, but I, I'm curious about Juggernaut. We definitely want Orin for some breaks. Um. Who else do we want? I think we'll go with the. I think we'll go with the Aranwaka Kimari team. Okay. Let's see about Juggernaut. So we've got three left. We've got Sleep Sprout that I gave up on. <laughs> we might have to level up some for him. We've got Juggernaut and we've got Ironclad. So this is Juggernaut right here. Yeah, I don't I don't think we can beat him. I just kind of want to see a little bit about what happens with him. Um yeah, I don't, I don't think we can get that much health down. Oh, we definitely have to break him. Immune to all elements. That is not what we like to see. Okay. I think this is definitely one where I need to get Orin's... Um... Overdrive up. Uh, so that he can Vanishing Blade. At the beginning. What does Salvo do? kills me. It absolutely kills me. That's what Salvo does. I die. Alright, let me... Let's do... Let's go again. Come on, Juggernaut. I just want to get this gauge up. So I want to see if I... Vanishing Blade and, like, break him how much damage people do. Because they ain't doing shit right now. They ain't doing no damage. Juggernaut Sonic, it'll only have a 5% chance. Yeah, so you gotta use Banishing Blade. That's what I kind of assume on all of these. Like, to break them, you pretty much have to use Banishing Blade. Okay. Oh, I did not mean to do that. Let's heal. Alright, let's see how much damage they do when we have a Vanishing Blade going. Oh, that's... Oh, that's Waka. Okay, let's see what they got now. Much better. Okay, much better. So definitely gotta use Banishing Blade. There we go. Yeah, that's nice damage. That is nice damage. I 
wonder if we just have an Aeon come and eat the Salvo. Come on, Valifor. Yummy, yummy Salvo just for you. Just do that. Bye, Plucky. It was nice knowing you, but you served your purpose. All right, come on back, Orin. I'm just gonna keep wailing on him. Crush spike. That's not good. Okay. I guess we can keep Mighty Guard up. I mean, it can't hurt. We can do White Wind. There we go. Heal Kimari. Thanks. <laughs> okay, let's attack reels. There we go. I mean, if we can make the Aeon eat Salvo every time, which we can, because he'll do the charging. Like, he just charged, right? I think. No, he didn't. He did this Crush Spikes. So he'll probably charge this time. No, he didn't Crush Spikes again. Interesting. So when he charges on the next turn, he's going to do that salvo. And then we need to call an Aeon so that Aeon can eat the salvo. Ooh, nice crit. Ouchie. And then I can just keep doing overdrives. Yeah, I think I can beat this guy without doing any more, like, leveling up or grinding or anything. It just might take a while. So, let's see how far we get. Let's see where we're at by 30, but we might have to stop and, like, actually beat him next week. But he doesn't seem to be doing anything crazy. Yeah, okay, he's charging. So his next turn, he's gonna salvo. I'm gonna write that down. Okay, we're gonna have Aeons eat the salvo. Oh, it's another big thunder. Oh. Um. That's fine. Kamari's overdrive. Poor Kamari. His overdrive kind of useless. But I guess he can heal a little. Yeah, they because they can't survive Salvo. And I totally forgot it was coming. Oh well. <clears throat> we understand him. We understand Juggernaut. And I think we can beat him. We just have to be patient. Okay. Let's see about... Ironclad. Let's see what he does. <clears throat> I did look at a strategy for this guy, and honestly, like, I have no idea. He looks really scary. This guy right here. Like, I don't even know. Um, but let's Banishing Blade him at least. I know we need to do that. He needs to be broken. Um... But beyond that, like, it just looked insane, what he does. So we're going to test it out and see if we can, you know, figure this out. 
what we can do for him. Oh, that was not a lot of damage. Okay. What? Um, excuse me. Mm, are there any skills worth using? I don't think so. He's already broken. I mean, I guess we can armor break him again. I don't think there's any point in that. Good lord. That Repageki is ridiculous. Okay, we do decent damage with that. Is that his counterattack? His counterattack just kills me. So, oh, and he uses it for a regular attack, too. So he counters with that stupid Repageki. This thing is immune to all magic except holy, lots of health, yeah. Like, he looked insane. Ridiculous. Whoa! How the heck am I gonna survive that? How in the heck and heck? Yikes on trikes. Okay. Let's sell let's sell some of my weapons. I'm sure I have like a ton of weapons built up. He uses physical. Okay. I had protect on. I did, and it was like, fuck you still. Okay, I think all the things I need to sell are under here. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yes, we can sell that. Death strike, sleep strike, so stone strike. I mean, that's cool, but we just, we don't need that. Oh, double overdrive. Is that use? I really want triple overdrive for what I'm working on. I want weapons that are triple overdrive with two open slots, and you can get them from one eye. Double overdrive's not bad, so we'll hang on to it. But, um... But yeah. Magic booster. Invincible. Oh, it's got eaters. Um, we'll keep it. Well, no, because I've got that other proof. We don't need this. We don't need this. Some cool stuff. It's some cool stuff, but, like, we're never going to use it. So I should just sell it. Definitely don't need these guys. Okay. So I sold it all. Alright, let's go back up to the airship. And we're gonna shop a little bit. It's primary tech. Oh, best use celestial weapons. Yes, okay. Only works, yada yada. So you basically, same thing. You have to use Vanishing Blade. <clears throat> its primary technique is Repageki. Yes, that's the one we saw. Yeah, which attacks all characters. That's the Bushinzan. More powerful Shinryudan. Character with the highest current HP against Aeons, it will only use Repageki. Huh. <sighs> okay. Okay. We might have reached the point. Like, I think we can still maybe beat Juggernaut. But we might have reached the point where I actually need to level up. <laughs> uh, yes, that might be the case. Um, let's buy more remedies. Um, let's see. Can you not buy- you can't buy X potions, can you? You just get those. Stock up on Phoenix Downs. Yes. Uh, that's fine. We don't need all that. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Your patronage is very much appreciated. You're welcome, Rin. Okay. Uh, let's see. So, I think there's only one more of these guys that we can probably beat without leveling up. So, to level up fast, we need to battle the One-Eye. 
So we did battle him before. So we need to battle him and get him to drop um, triple AP weapons. So he will drop triple AP weapons with um, two open slots. So that's something we're going to have to do. We'll probably do that next week. Let's go back to the Calm Lands area. You're counting on me, kid. Thanks, Sid. But I already did it. We just had to go back in time so I could do all these other fun things. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> oh, I'm I'm so glad that came through. I really wasn't sure. So we did beat one eye. It's one of the ones that we beat. So we'll have to battle him a bunch of times to get the triple AP weapons. And then you customize the triple AP weapons using um, doors to tomorrow. So you're, you're trying to customize the overdrive to AP. It takes 10 doors to tomorrow. And then you want to customize um, tri oh, it's triple AP weapons. And you want to customize triple overdrive using winning formulas. Both of those door to tomorrows and winning formulas can be bribed. But we want to get triple AP weapons. Um, so actually, let me go back to that. What was that one that I decided to keep? Was I double overdrive? No, we need triple AP. It's not... Okay, so that Lionheart is actually not useful. Because we're not going to customize the triple AP. So we can sell this. Don't need it. Ooh, got a little chill. That thunder. <sighs> okay. Uh, let's see. Let's sort these again. There we go. So those are all things we're going to have to do. So, okay. So here's what's going to happen. Here's what's going to happen. Next week, we're going to fight Juggernaut, because I think I can beat him. And then we're going to try to start farming One-Eye to get the weapons that we need and do the customizing that we need. Um, and then we will level up using those fancy level up weapons. The fast fastest way to level up is to use those weapons to fight Tonberries. The the Tonberry in here, this guy, um, Don Tonberry. And if we can kill Don Tonberry with those weapons, then we will get tons and tons of AP. We can really progress fast on the sphere grid. And then we should be leveled up enough that we can start fighting the things that I haven't been able to beat, such as I'm pretty sure I can't beat Ironclad at the stats that I have right now. And fuck that sleep sprout. I it's probably possible to beat him at the stats that I have right now, but like I just don't want to. So so that's the plan. And then we can start doing um original conquests. So that's the plan for next week. Let me save. Let's save. Let's save and get out of this. Okay. My god. My god, it's so loud. The thunder is so loud. <sighs> okay. <clears throat> What's happening? Come on, game. You can do it. There it goes. Didn't want to close properly. All right, let's find someone to rage, you guys. Who is streaming right now? Okay, we haven't raided to clarify in a hot minute, and he is playing Xenoblade Chronicles, another um, wonderful JRPG. So let's, let me just load his stream and see what's going on. What's he doing? Oh, he's on a be right back screen. Okay. Well, it looks like he's on an ad break. So while he's on an ad break, um, <laughs> where can you find me? Okay. You can find me in all of these places. My main social media is Twitter. So please follow my Twitter to um, get all of the updates and all that stuff. All of my VODs get posted to YouTube. So you can follow my YouTube channel so you never miss a thing. Also, you can join my Discord server. That is the best way to get reliable notifications because I can actually control the notifications in here, unlike on Twitch and YouTube, where, um, you know, sometimes it sends you notifications and sometimes it doesn't. If you would like to support me, you can do so in all of the normal ways that you might do for any other streamer. You can subscribe, you can do bits. I've got a, a tip thing down below. Um, however you want to do it, that is all available to you as well. Okay, 
The ad break is over, but he's still on a be right back screen, but I'm hoping if I raid, he'll come back. So we're gonna go ahead and type in the raid command. All right, we're gonna raid to clarify. He's playing Xenoblade Chronicles. He's only been streaming for an hour and a half, so I am sure he's gonna stream for quite a lot longer. He usually does like, you know, uh, three or four hour streams, so. Okay, all right, raid is ready. We're gonna go ahead and raid into clarify. Thank you guys so much for watching. And don't forget, of course, as always, to make it a great day. Bye, y'all. See you later.